G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. Uh, what we're going to be having a look at today is the joy of many, many people. Uh, <laughs> they really are. This a lot of people seem to struggle with this particular concept, and that's why I'm tackling it head on. Um, we're going to be looking at the joy that is long division. Okay. Um, look, personally, I'm a bit more tempted, like a lot of people, to grab the calculator these days. But really, it's it's, it's a great skill to still be able to have. I think it's. I still like to actually know how things work and that sort of deal. So. And some people, they still have to go off to school and learn how to do this the, the, you know, the long division way. So this video is really, really, uh, I guess, dedicated to you guys. Eh? So long division. Now, what long division is, is where what we are doing is we get a great question like this. Well, we're usually we're getting double, uh, two-digit numbers dividing into another number. So we get this sort of thing. The, this number here divided by... 780 divided by 12. I look at that. I didn't leave myself any space at all. There we go. I'll make some for myself. So how do you go about doing these? So I'll start off on how you do these. And there, there's. Mm, I'm sort of procrastinating. I know. I'll launch into it. Okay. With these, you treat them pretty much like you treat a lot of other divisions, but there's a couple of slight little differences. So I think the easiest way is to launch into them. So first off, how many times does 12? go into 7. Well it doesn't. I'll leave a, a, a blank there. I can put a 0 there. And so I carry the 7 across and I get 78. Now how many times does 12 go into 78? Now you should be hopefully alright with your 12 times table. Uh, if you're not, there you go. But 6 12s is 72. So the answer is 6. Okay, And there's 6 left over. Okay, Now what I do, and this is where long division is a little bit uh, funny, is you put the 72 down here, and you would usually take it away. 78 take away 72, and you get this answer of 60. Okay, It's the same answer I've got here. Okay, Often all this subtraction thing is here is it's working out what you now have left with the remainder. Okay, It's exactly like every other bit of division you've ever done, where you've used these sort of things. Uh, they just... Now instead of, because the numbers get bigger, they don't try to write everything in here, they start trying to write it down here instead. So how many times is 12 going to 60? It goes in 5 times. Alright, now that was a pretty easy example for that, but I'm going to get into a nice harder one now. Okay, um, And say something like this. Uh, say I get something where I have 19, and I'm going to be dividing that into 2,000. 418. I'll caution you, by the way, um, look, I'm, I'm not going into this video completely blind. I have done this question already. Um, there is a remainder with this, and I'll show you a couple of things that you might end up doing with the remainder. Okay. So, first off, 19 into 24. Now, you're going to see I'm straight away sort of skipping the two. I know the 19 is not going to go in there, so I'm not, not bothering with it. 19 into 24. Now, it goes one time. Okay. So, what I do here is I put the 19 down here and I'm going to take it away from the 24 so 19 take away 24 is 5 and then I move this stuff down okay the 18 just comes down there alright so I'm left with 518 okay it's another way I could have actually put the 5 up here okay but it begins to look a little bit more squashed okay so that's all long division is it's, it's basically making it giving you a little bit more space Alright, so 19 now into 518. Oh, yuck, it's a horrible thing, okay? Trying to get your 19 times table. For me, the little trick is 19 is very close to 20. So how many times does 20 go into 51? Well, around about twice, okay? So 19 is most likely going to go into around about twice. It's not a hard and fast rule. And the next question I get will we'll, we'll, we'll get a bit more complicated. So I'll run through what to do then. So it goes in roughly twice. And 2 times 19 gives me the answer of 2 eights, 2 nines are 18. Okay, so 18. And it carry the 1, 1, 2 is 2, so 38. Okay, now if I take 38 from my question here, I'm now going to get the answer of... Okay, remember we're not dealing with this one here. Okay, one take eight. Well, we can't do that, so I'm going to have to borrow one from here. 
I'm just going to put a 1 there. So 11 take 8 is 3. 4 take 3 is 1. And this 8 now moves down. 138. OK. Now again, roughly how many 20s do we get in this one here? Well, roughly about 7. OK. It's, I know 7 seven twenties are... Uh, 7 twos are 14 and so 7 twenties are 140 which is above this because with 19 I, I think we should actually be able to cover it with 7 of them so 7 times 19 and I'll put the 7 up here 7 times 19 7 nines are 63 carry the 6 1 7 is 7 plus 6 is 13 so 138 take away 33 run out of room the answer is 5 so what do I do with this 5 I'm not going to be able to fit a 19 into it now now, there's a couple of things. Some teacher is going to get you to write down as remainder 5, and you just put down a little up here, you might put down remainder 5. Personally, I'm a bit of a fan of uh, actually doing it a little bit differently. I'm a bit of a fan of actually getting the 5, and you put that over as a fraction over 19. So our answer is this number entirely, 127 and 5 nineteenths. Ew. I know it's a very, very messy way of doing... Something which feels like it should be a lot easier. I'll go to one further example here. Okay, um, and I'm going to, with this, I'm going to actually um, give you a little hint of what I'll do. And I'll, I think I might even have to zoom out to do this. Okay, I'll give myself a bit more space. So say I'll give you this question here, and this is going to be some horrendous looking question here. Uh, 24, how many times does it go into... 1,845. Look, I see that. Uh, it doesn't really overly make me that happy either. But I'll show you a little trick what I'd do. And this is what I actually did when I was working out the answer to this previously. I started actually going through... Because I start going through and go, how many 24s in Owen? And I'm thinking, oh, straight away, this is going to be messy. So what i do is I would go through... And this can be take a little bit of time. But 1 times 24, this is 1 times 24 is 24. 2 times 24 is 48. 3 times 24, well, because 1 plus 2 equals 3, 4 plus 8 is 2, carry the 1, 4 plus, uh, that is 6, plus that is 72. Uh, whatever, for 4, 4 times 24, I'm just going up by 24 each time. Okay, the answer is 96. 5 times 24 uh, is going to be 120. 6 times 24, 144. 7 times 24, 168. 8 times 24, okay, so 172, 192. And 9 times 24 is going to be 24 more, which is going to be a 6 there and 23, so 236. Hopefully I haven't made a little boo there. Uh, 144, 168, 192, 236. I think I've gone up a little bit too high here. In fact, I have. Okay. There you go. Even even maths nerds make mistakes, right? Sometimes. <laughs> All right. So, first off, where do we fall into here? Okay. So, 24. You can't go into one. It can't go into 18. So, how many times does it go into 184? And you're going to see it falls in. At this particular point, it goes in seven times. Okay, so seven times 24 is 168. And I'm going to take this away. All right, 168. And notice this number here is going to come down and get carried down there. So I'm going to put the five straight there. Uh, and four take eight, I can't do, so I'm going to have to grab one from here. 14 take eight is six. Seven take six is one. One take one is nothing, so I'll leave that alone. Okay, so 165 now divided by 24. Uh, where do we fall into? We fall into this part now. Okay, so we've got a 6. Okay, alright. So 6 times uh, 24 is 144. 144. So 5 take 4 is 1, 6 take 4 is 2, and 1 take 1 is nothing. So we've got 21 there. Because 21 is less than 24, we can't divide this any further. Now, how we, we, we might write this again, we can write remainder 21, but I'm a big fan of writing 21 
over 24. Okay, but obviously if you're doing maths at school, go with whatever your maths teacher prefers, uh, but I do prefer this. So that's your answer there, 76 and 21, remainder or 21 over 24. I think really, I really do recommend drawing this sort of thing up. Uh, okay, anyway, hope you do really, really well with those. We'll see you next time.